Hello everybody, so Cal Thero here, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. In this video, we are going to work on the car that I mentioned in the project car video that we sold off. Which, I said it was a spoiler, which you might have caught the name the few times I had to move it. But it's this right here. Uh, as you can see, we started working on the EV as well. That, uh... You saw in that same video, I still have the suspension to pull apart and I still have to get the engine out of it, but body work's done on it. All the panels have been replaced. Uh, stuff up front's fixed too. Even the battery that's clipping through the fender, that's funny considering it's a DLC car. That's uh, interesting how they did that. But uh, today we're going to be working on this. I've been searching for a while for the non-resto version of this thing and I just could not find one. After I found one in the auction and I let it go because the money that people were bidding on to get it was getting too stupid high for me to justify it, I have not found another one since then and I'm kicking myself for it. But either way, I wanted to pick one up. I found this one in the junkyard and I've been working on it for a while. As you can see, I did make some modifications to it it has the jaguar seats in it instead of the seats that you're supposed to put in it and i put like a nice wooden race wheel kind of like vintage throwback look in there even though it doesn't look like it <laughs> if you can't tell what it is it is a ford bronco a uh i want to say a 70s uh model year i could be wrong on that don't hold me to it um let's see yeah 1975 ford bronco mark one it's the resto mod version that's why it's slammed down like this and it's got <laughs> some pretty fat racing tires on it and wheels and it looks modernized to be honest i kind of dig it although i can appreciate the original like version even more with like a few upgrades and a few tastes done to it or a few mods tastefully done to it that uh brings it up to uh modern standards as far as uh uh what am I thinking of? I cannot think of it. Basically, it brings it up to the uh, standards of like luxuries that we have today, such as uh, power steering, power windows, power locks, that kind of stuff. So this is the motor that's for it. You might have saw in that video as well, depending on what like way I've re released the videos. I could be saying this, and that video hasn't came out yet, so totally could be getting spoilers. But, um... This is the engine that goes to that, and the engine itself, as you can tell from all the shiny parts, and then looking inside the car goes, it's going to be completely hooked up and be very fast, because I want to see how fast this thing can go with the uh, performance mods on it. And as you can, oh, I guess I had already bought these, so I got extra cam shafts for the next V8 that I do, apparently. And I need these gears, which I always keep those just because they always seem to be a thing that I need. And then timing belt will be a thing, but <laughs> let's go ahead and get the supercharger on. Uh, since it's a V8, it, it's the newer one, so I don't have to worry about deciphering if it's either the overhead valve or the new one. So being that it's... Uh, an older car, it looks like they throw a brand new V8 supercharger uh, motor in this instead of the overhead valve version. Which is cool, but again, it's kind of getting away from the uh, the vehicle itself and what it had in the past. Um, I thought you needed a throttle here. Maybe you do, but it won't let you do it until you put the cover on. So let's buy a throttle real quick just because I have this feeling that I'm going to need it from all the other V8s that I've put together in the past. Um, throttle V8. There it is. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get the timing belts that I need. Uh, those are serpentine belts. Uh, nope, it's not that. It's V8. There we go. We need two of those. Do crisscross applesauce with them. And there's the cover. Uh, that car... I want to say I got it in... A, I said earlier that I got it in the junkyard, but that might not be the case. I want to say I got it in the junkyard, but... If I remember right, a lot of the car was... 
there when I picked it up. The suspension was missing some things, but all the wheels and tires were there. The, um... The engine, for the most part, was there, too. I want to say it had everything from the camshafts down, like where, where it's sitting at right now, so... I want to say it was in pretty decent... Whoops. It was in pretty decent shape uh, when I picked it up, if it was in the junkyard. We'll double-check, though. Before we end this video. And just like before with some of the other videos I've done in the past, this one might be a little bit on the shorter side, so I do apologize if you enjoy the longer videos. I just like to uh, be considerate for those that like to uh, come here and just see the uh, car being completed and what kind of numbers it's putting up. But at the same time, I know some of you guys like to watch or listen in as I... Uh, as I put the car together and take it apart. I don't need that. I know what it is. It's the engine head A, engine head B cover. Yep, I need that. I need the coil covers. I'm sitting here getting lazy with this. We'll need those. And I think that's all I need for the engine. Uh, going back to the shorter episode, though, that being said, we're definitely going to take it out on the speed track. Hopefully, I don't have an incident like I did with the King Cobra, where I just could not drive the damn thing. It's got racing slicks on it, so it should actually be pretty simple to drive, as far as like, keeping it on the road is concerned. Even though it looks like it's going to make a ton of power, because it's got a more modernized, supercharged engine in it. And then, you know, I didn't check to see if you can swap the engine. This is the engine that was in it, so... Maybe we'll check that out, too, just to see... If there is the possibility of doing something different. But either way, we're gonna stick to this one for now. Whoops! I don't need that. I need to take the engine off. And go slap it in the car here. And uh, I do have money again. That was because we sold the project car in the last video that I recorded, as well as uh, I did a job, one of the story missions. Because, like I said before, I'd keep up with that for you guys, too. I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching those just to see how the uh, story progresses in the game, as far as the uh, jobs are concerned. And if I did read right, like I said before, there is an end to them as well. So there's kind of an end game to them at some point. <laughs> Go ahead and put the starter in. And I'm trying to... There we go. I'm trying to get just in view so I can put the drive shaft in. Good. And I think that's everything. Uh, nope, we're missing a part somewhere. Uh, air filters and clips. Okay. Thought I had done that. I guess not. Oh, you know what? I did. Yeah, I started to do it, but I did not put them in. Because it was weird. Oh, I don't have the air filter cover. I just thought it was weird that it's clipping through the suspension there. That's kind of the other reason why I want the um, one of the original Bronco. Now it should be done. Yep, 100% on everything. So, go ahead and top some fluids off here. It has none of the fluids in it, just because the engine wasn't in it uh, at the time. Same as going on with that over there, as well, the uh, EV vehicle. I've replaced all this stuff already, but it has no fluids because the engine's got to come out of it. Don't know if it really needs the engine in it in order to top those off. Probably does, but... This kind of seems like being an electric vehicle and all, you would think it didn't need it. And I was thinking about selling this car, but like I said in the past, I want to keep the modded vehicles because I like keeping them for my collection just to look at every now and then. Be here. And then let's go here and we'll just put this windshield washer fluid in and I think we're done. Oh no, we still got brakes. Never mind. But. If I find an original Bronco that's not the Resto mod, I may still sell this. I don't know. I, I've been conflicted. As much as I want the original, I did put a lot of time in customizing this thing to the way that I wanted it. 
with the um, the front end of it. I'll show you guys here, and then the back too. I'll show you guys when it's all uh, said and done here. But I already did the alignment on it. I've already done the uh, headlights. I've already painted it. But when I originally got this car, it was green. And I wanted to paint it this red. It's a factory color red. And then one of the liveries is this white striping on it. But the secondary livery you could do is just white. And then the white interior, which I didn't want to do because... Broncos, all this matches on the inside here. But I took this off and painted it white. I took the grill out and painted it uh, black. The front bumper and the rear bumper I painted black too, just to kind of accent it a little bit. Because I didn't want those to be red. So, like I said, I put a little bit of uh, a little bit of time and energy in this thing that I kind of would have a hard time selling it. Uh, looks like you can swap it to a non-supercharged version. I don't know why I would do that, but we'll just go ahead and keep it the way it is. Whoops. Yeah, let's go ahead and save it while I'm looking at it. Get it on the dyno, see how fast it goes, and then we'll take it down the track here and see how it does. Uh, it does have five, so we'll put a six gear in it. We'll make it too crazy. There we go. Apply that. And we're going to run it on the dyno and see how it does. This car with the stock power should make over a thousand horsepower because it's the Resto Mod version and it's supercharged. Let's see how it does with uh, performance parts put on it. Just under 2,000 horsepower for this thing. Good 94% gain. 93% gain on the uh, foot pounds of torque. So this thing is a beast. Let's uh, let's get it outside just to look at it one last time in the sun, and we'll fire it up out here and take it to the uh, take it to the track. It's hard to tell if it's got a working dial or not. We'll look at it at the, uh, the speed track, though. When we go to the speed track, the miles per hour will be moving, so I can see. Attack, though, you can't tell. The steering wheel just gets in the way. Alright, like I said, it's got racing slicks on it. This thing, it, from the uh, original version that I bought, comes with racing slicks. It didn't come with the ones with the red sidewalls though, because I just wanted to do that. But uh, just to kind of match with the car a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead in three, two, one, go. Roasting tires. Roasting tires through third. The Speedo does work. In fifth, we're in sixth. Six drags, but oh my God, look at the miles per hour. Oh my God, we're gonna die. We're gonna die! 283! Counter steering it. Oh. Holy cow, that was fast. 283. I don't know what happened in sixth gear, but it just totally lost control. Like, see, it, it's getting real swervy real quick. We're gonna try going the other way. Let's just restart it. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna try it with the controller instead. It's like all the way good until 6 gear, then 6 gear wants to take off like an airplane. Which it did at some point. I'm not gonna put my foot all the way down. Oh, but I... Uh. Let's restart it. I upset the car as soon as I spun the, or turned the wheel. Come on, just red line roasting all the way through it. As soon as I hit that sixth gear, which makes sense, my tuning is terrible. I have no tuning uh, knowledge whatsoever, so. Maxing out 299 miles per hour. See, it's fast! Oh, we went over the map. Oh, we're going through the map. What the? 
the hell? <laughs> oh, wow. We went so fast we flew off the map. <laughs> Almost 300 miles per hour out of this Ford Bronco. That is insane. Whoever did this mod definitely has it cranked up so high the game can't even handle it because it flew off the track and off the map, basically. That was pretty funny, actually, to say the least. But, uh... Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. And until next time, take care.